Hello everyone, welcome to AnyRail. This is version 6 and you can see up here it's the trial version. I thought I'd do a quick run of it and show you how it works for those people who haven't used it before and those who might like to for designing their first layout or indeed any layout. Now essentially you set up the board size of the layout you want to do first. So if we look up settings here at the top left we can see that firstly I'm going to be working old fashioned inches but you can choose decimal if you prefer and then the size of my layout so I'm going to do it 5 feet 60 inches long and it's going to be 36 inches which is 3 foot wide and I also want to have the grid on and I'm going to have them at 12 inch slots so you can see here each one of these is 12 inches by 12 inch or a foot squared 5 by 3 foot and we can actually bottom right hand corner here see we can make your work size a little bit bigger so this is our board and we know that whatever track fits on here will fit on your board because it's all magic so if you look then at track libraries up here go along and see that you can see the gauge here there's O gauge A, and loads for HO but we're going to be using this OO and we'll be using Hornby set track so we click that and it switches on all of the Hornby pieces you recognize a lot of those R numbers but I'm going to be using one piece of Pico 2 so put their set track on I'm actually only going to be using where is it? Um, this piece there. Okay, so to start putting your track together, you have to have obviously some plan in mind yourself, and you need to put some of these parts over. But if you hover over them, so if we're to 607 here, you need to let's uh, one bit set track, the second radius curve. So that's going to be the start of mine. So I'm going to put it roughly over here, and then I'll add another piece. And if you get it in the right spot, see it there, you see the blue, the blue, the blue, blue uh, dots, that means it's going to link and it saves you having to rotate it, um, rotate it like this yourself. I can get all of it properly like that. So it, it, it's easier for you if you can do that. So I'm just going to put the four pieces on to make one side of my layout. And this is for um, a layout. I'm going to be doing a couple of films. I'm sure they have started doing it, but I thought I should just look at this. And then along here, I'm going to have a, a turner. Is that left? Yeah, but it's not that way around. So I'm going to it's not the one. There we go. So let's put that in there. And then going across that straight bit before we start the next little bends, I want one of the bees short pieces there and then I'm going to have um, this piece which is that it's the straightener so if something becomes uh, comes off the track a bit that will re-rail it effectively and then I'm going to start the bend again so that will just click into place says so me job put that in here and then across the bottom here I'm going to have um, a straight piece, we'll have a longer one. And I'm going to have the uh, left hand turn on again. Left. I want it to go that way around, so I just rotate it. Oh, no. a minute, another minute, that's the right way around, sorry. So I'll put that there to click in place. And then I want to have another one of these corners. But I want it to go this way around this time. Oops, so I'll turn that. Steam up. And then this bit here, I'm going to add a smaller piece, which is that one. So I'll turn that in here. And then on this corner, because this bit here is going to be a road on that little layout for the children, I want to put a crossing. So if I go to the Pico side, and the cross is this bit here. And again, because it, it's set track and it's radius 2 it will fit. There you go, so it fits with the Hornby very well and I just need to so, do some of my inside bits now and what I'm using is a few of these Y pieces and I'm going to use two of those there. I'm going to use one up here. I think I've done this right and then I want another one of these for here to turn it in. 
and I want some long pieces, put that one there, that one there, one short piece, this is going to be for platform, and here will be a car ramp, and then these really short pieces just to give me a bit of extra length on the end of this will be the platform well, so there'll be a car bit and it'll be, cars can drive off around here and I've just got to put some engine shed spaces in here so again I'm going to want some big pieces oops I've got a piece on that so it happens put one on with one of those on I just want these very tiny curves like that and this will bring them in perfectly for Hornby's double engine shed um, so you know that shed will fit on there once you do this and this will complete my layout Don't do that easily so I know that will all fit now if you want to know what parts you need to buy you can actually go to show and we can look up part numbers this is a good thing to print out because you print this out and then when you get your, your bare board and all the track pieces you know exactly where to put them and it'll remind you of what you were doing um, then I can also um, on, I can actually show a list of materials and that's my shopping list so this section here tells me how many pieces I need of each so if you look at R600 which is the standard straights and the short one three pieces, six long straights and so on and then exactly what to buy rather than buying an additional track that you might not use um, you can actually take those labels off if you want to show what the track looks like and you can also go to up here and have a 3D view of what you're, and the 3D view you can put on a nice bit of loose guide clouds if you want to this is what it will look like on the table itself and that's pretty much all you need to do